Chancellor Menard, President and Vice Chancellor Lawi, Dr. Kirion, distinguished guests and participants, fellow students, families, and friends, it is my great pleasure to address you all today on behalf of the graduating students. Standing up here, I remember the excitement and little trepidation I had back in September 2007 when I began my studies here at Concordia. I was eager to start my bachelor's degree in chemistry and looked forward to the opportunities that were ahead of me in the co-op program as well as the science college. My experiences at Concordia went beyond what I learned in the classroom and I had the luxury of participating in a number of public events, including public lectures, culture nights, workshops on interview skills, and dinners with internationally recognized invited speakers. The inclusive environment of Concordia has opened so many doors for me and my undergraduate colleagues. We have been engaged in a wide spectrum of events which has given us a rich university experience, which I believe ultimately allows, to make, allows us to make better informed decisions about the paths we are to embark on in our lives and the challenges we will face in the future. I do not believe that words can describe the entirety that is Concordia. However, I would like to share with you one experience that I believe embodies the environment and values of Concordia University. In February 2010, I was faced with the mishap of breaking my leg as I slipped on a patch of ice. I was engaged in two research projects involving continuous lab work. For safety concerns, it was suggested that I refrain from this lab work, which would have caused a delayed graduation for me. Yet, here I stand before the audience. It was because of Dr. Wilde's lab members that I managed to complete everything on time. They literally went out of their way for me, from simple things like helping me reach for a beaker to staying late nights to ensure that I did not work alone. People like Dr. Wilde's, Dr. Nerona, Francis, David, and Gong all exemplified what I think is the true essence of Con Concordia by giving their own time and going the extra mile for me. I'm sure that all my colleagues here have their own individual story or a person that was especially considerate towards them. I'm grateful to all these people and realize that all the skills and knowledge that I and all the class of 2011 have acquired must be used to improve the lives of those surrounding us. We all have the power to make a positive impact in this world, which starts with helping those around us. J'aimerais féliciter chacun d'entre vous pour vos efforts et vos succès à Concordia. Avec les connaissances acquises et les expériences au cours, et les expériences vécues, excusez, au cours des années à l'université, nous sommes maintenant sur le point d'entamer une étape cruciale de nos vies qui pourrait changer la société. Let it not be the end of our learning, but rather our step, a step in our ever-growing training. Like Stephen Cogwa once said, try and fail, but don't fail to try. There are so many people I would like to thank, in particular, Lillian Jackson and Dr. Kelman from the Science College, Dr. Wilds, Dr. Nerona, and Dr. Robidoux for their undivided help and guidance throughout the degree, and Dr. Turnbull. You'll be seeing a lot of me since I decided to pursue another degree at Concordia. <laughs> Last but not least, my family members, Sean, Dominique, and Tim, and especially my grandmother for making me lunches every single day. Hi, Grandma. <laughs> Finally, I'd like to thank everyone here for being here today. Our hard work has finally paid off. Congratulations to you all. Thank you.